This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for joining us for this News 4 Alexa update. I'm Taylor Holt with a check of the top stories making news this hour. St. Louis police say they've arrested a 37-year-old man for allegedly throwing rocks and damaging cars. News 4 talked to several drivers whose cars were damaged last month as they drove on Interstate 64 near the Hampton exit. Police say the suspect admitted to throwing the rocks. We are working to learn more about what charges he could be facing. St. Louis City Police also hope you can help them solve a shooting in the Greaterville neighborhood. Police say a man was shot and critically injured yesterday afternoon along Sullivan Avenue and Van Deventer. Officers responded to the scene just before 2 o'clock, and right now police do not have any release details about any possible suspects. And after months of planning and construction, the new Deerbergs in Crestwood opens in just a few days. Doors are expected to open on Tuesday to shoppers. The new grocery store is part of a $67 million development and it sits right next to new housing, sharing the former Crestwood Plaza shopping mall grounds. And turning to weather now, here is First Alert meteorologist Leah Hill with a check of the weekend forecast. We have a great day on tap. Our temperatures will range from the 70s down south in Farmington, for example, to up north in Bowling Green. Your temperatures lower 60s. Here in St. Louis, we'll reach a high temp of 68 degrees, mainly sunny through the afternoon. But by late afternoon, early evening, the clouds begin to build ahead of our next cold front that's going to bring some rain. So we got to watch for some isolated showers and thunderstorms right around 6 o'clock. So during that early evening time frame and initially some of the storms could be a touch on the stronger side. And what I mean by this is that we can't rule out small little pea sized hail. Not enough to cause damage, but it's something that you should be aware of and the occasional wind gust possible as well. That clears out. We still hold on to rain through the early overnight hours. Dry morning commute on Monday. Temperatures a little bit cooler Monday and Tuesday behind that cold front. More significant rainfall and more impactful weather comes at the tail end of the week. So Thursday, Cardinals home opener. At this point, it looks like the rain is going to hold off until after the game. But the rain, when it does move in, could be stronger at times. Thunderstorms possible. We'll be watching that closely over the next couple of days as we nail down the timing and determine exactly how strong those storms will be.